Alamo Heights ISD charted a course to promote a tradition of excellence as the guiding principle over 110 years ago. To ensure that we continue the momentum of our important work, we are anchored in from our strategic planning process in 2008, as well as the creation of the Profile of Learner in 2015. We're embarking in another strategic action process to refine our focus and attain strategic clarity about the future direction of our efforts. I'm Dana Bashera, your superintendent, and in this edition of On Location, we will highlight some of the initial conversations and overview our process for strategic action for Alamo Heights ISD. This process will involve a variety of stakeholders ranging from students to staff to community and parents who will provide us input and feedback as part of a needs assessment process to help determine clarity around strategic action for the next few years. The past two days, our initial discovery group, a group of about 55 stakeholders, has come together to have preliminary conversations around areas of focus and an assessment of capacity for moving forward with our work. Let's meet a few of our participants who have been a key part of the conversation around this initial work. I'm very excited to be joined by two of our participants who've dedicated two full days of conversation and thoughts and planning with us. And so I'd like you to hear from Barrett. He's going to tell you a little bit about what he appreciates about being involved in this process. Yeah, so it's just an honor um, to be able to be invited to this opportunity as a student, um, to have my voice heard, and not just school-wide issues, but also district-wide, um, and to be able to sit down with the adults, um, with parents and other students and also faculty, and just be heard and have my opinion respected um, through the entire two-day process. And next we have Amy, who's been a parent of ours for years now. Amy, tell us a little bit about the experience and what you two have appreciated. Well, I really like how collaborative it is with um, parents and students, and we have junior high students, we have high school students, teachers, um, and parents, and just the collaborative atmosphere, and really everyone learning from each other and wanting to better our district. And I was not part of the earlier design process for the district, but I am just blown away by how intentional and thoughtful um, all the teachers are when they're creating this curriculum and trying to in, implement t technology and all these things were our goals for a district. So it's just been a really eye-opening and enjoyable experience. So I'm grateful for both of you for being part of this process and I can't wait to see what's to come from your all service and your work. Thank you. In AHISD, we have a long-standing tradition that promotes a culture of continuous improvement. This strategic action process will help us focus on the future to ensure that we are meeting the needs of our students in our community. I invite you to consider joining us at one of our upcoming focus group conversations that will take place this month on October 16th and 17th during the day and in the evening to provide your perspective and your insight. Please look for more information and details advertised in our Monday email link that will describe the open public meeting the evening of October 16th. I'm excited about all that will take place in our district over the next few months to help us set goals and define actions to ensure we are charted on the right course to maintain the amazing tradition of excellence our students deserve. Thank you for joining us for this episode of On Location.